Can we clinch the West Coast Conference regular season title in this 3-all battle on the way courts? Well, we're gonna find that out today. Today is this year's last regular season match before postseason play. We're facing the University of the Pacific in Stockton, California. This match, we had a chance to clinch the conference's regular season title. Going to this last WCC match, we were at the top of the table along with San Diego, who had a record of 9-1. We currently stood at 8-1, and, and if we won this match, we would equal them and both end the season as first. But Pacific was a very tough team, possibly this year's surprise. They managed to defeat San Diego 4-3 earlier this year. And if you remember, we lost to San Diego 4-1. So this was definitely going to be a hard-fought battle with a lot at stake. This trip before Pacific, we played against St. Mary's. And unfortunately, there were no cameras, so there was no way of recording the match. But we ended up winning 4-0 without too much of a hassle. And that victory put us in the position we're in today. After playing at one doubles last time, we were back on court 2, ready to do some damage. Sorry, the quality is not as good as it usually is. Unfortunately, their cameras were not as good as ours, and this is the best it got, really. So yeah, be patient. There's not much I could do about this unfortunately. They end up holding serve and this return the next game put us in kind of a weird spot as we throw up this lob and off of this slice overhead I can pull this foreign out of the hat. 40-15 then and we're well on our way to a solid hold to even the score. This next game we're already looking for chances and off of my return he whiffs the ball so it's low 30. This point I'm at the net and I'm really just watching but you gotta love it in doubles when the point gets taken care of by your partner. With Drupal breakpoint then, and to your surprise this match I would hit two-handed backhands because in this instance it was way too important. Anyway, he misses the volley and we get the break. As I was saying, after slicing for I think three matches in a row and preventing my wrist to get worse, this was one of the matches that was too important for me not to try and hit two-handers. We needed this win at all costs. We're 40-15 here and this volley lands short next to me, and out of reflex I'm able to get it past them. We consulted the break then and this back in return puts the next game off for grabs although they ace the next point. A slow motion reaction here by me gives them the game. And they start off hot here with this return that pushes me out trying an impossible winner. And then again a love 15 another return that gets past Eddie, so this is a proper trouble now. We do win the next point though and after finally making a decent serve they miss again. A very solid first serve there. And a 40-30 a 1-2 punch there to win us the game. We were feeling confident after that last game honestly. Great turnaround and toughness by us, so we were looking to carry over that momentum. This point gets us up in the game. We get to double break point here, ready to grind out this point. This lava mine lands out though. Deuce point. The four in there, and a big celebration. So we're 5-2 now, and we just need to glide to victory. There's a match point. A miss gives us a set and a doubles point. Now before we jump onto singles, I want to tell you about something that has really helped me improve my game recently, and that is Coach Life. Coach Life is an all-in-one coaching online platform that features over 400 videos on different tennis topics from all the junior coaches of the top tennis players in the world today, such as Taylor Fritz, Jack Draper, Iga Swiatek, Andy Roddick, Francis Tiafo, and many, many more. Nothing like Coach Life has ever existed before. The entire platform currently has 25 categories and 22 coaches, and one new coach being added every month. Aside from tennis tips and lessons that literally cover every single shot and every possible situation on the court and how to become better at it. Coach Life also features full specific tennis strength and conditioning courses, tennis psychologists, nutritionists and the world's leading tennis specific footwork specialist. So really something to improve on all aspects of your game. The insight provided here is very unique and useful and you literally get to hear from the coaches who developed and molded these world class players that we see on TV today. So I don't really know if there's anyone more qualified than them to teach you tennis. There's stuff here for every level and age of player so you should definitely try it out as there's a 7 day free trial now. Link in bio. In singles I was on court 2 playing Justas Trainauskas, Lithuanian player who is a 12.5 UTR. As you can see from these first few points, very big server. It bounced so high too, it was crazy and I barely made a ball this game. I don't start off too well even on my serve here as I miss this foreign. At 15 all I get a good serve though and able to play this point on my own terms. This was gonna be the key to the match realistically, being able to lead the points. And it wasn't going to be easy at all because he was a big hitter and a lot of times it was tough to get ahead in the point. As you can see here again I get a decent return but he just immediately hits hard line and makes me run. I knew that obviously moving him when possible was going to be important to switch the point momentum and that was going to cause some misses as it happens here. Another way to make him miss was to take time away as I do with this return here. 30 all, first important point of the match.
Breakpoint then, and a decent return cross, but he flashes me with the down the line winner. Dude's in big first serve, and after the return, I resort to the good old slice to give him a different ball there. I get a foreign inside out, and he misses. I needed to consolidate the break now, especially since getting another break wouldn't be easy, but I don't start off too well here as I miss the volley. 15 all and we play one of the longest points here. A terrible drop shot there which he gets too easily, but I get away with it with the pass. You can see another angle here of that and how disappointed my body language was after that drop shot. 30-15 now and I hope you enjoy some outside angles as well today because I have some videos like that too. But yeah, another point where I'm playing passes and yeah, this time I get too far from the ball and I'm basically falling and miss. You can see here from the main camera I'm missing like an extra step. Anyways, 30 all and I didn't want to lose this break lead, but something had to be done this point. Definitely not a slice back and miss though. The first breakpoint I get a good serve and approach right after to his back end and get kinda lucky he misses there. Yeah so that break lead is blown and all I can do is try and get another one. Foreign winner here. First break point and I'm somehow able to put the return in play but he hits this big foreign right on the line and after the overhead I don't do enough to stay alive. He wins the next point too so it's deuce point now and I'm trapped on the back end corner which is not good. But hey he misses first. So yeah I'm up a break again as you can see my back ends are not really full pace they're still kind of pushed as my wrist is not pain free at all. I shank this forward and give him a break point. A good first serve that is well read and obviously I go cross with the back end but once again down the line winner. So yeah no one could consistently hold serve at the moment but it looked like this game perhaps he was going to be able to do so. And he does hold serve there which meant I had no room for error anymore really. I couldn't just get broken again as it happened until now. I play a good point here and get up to 40 love. A good first serve does enough to give me that game. Here we go then, 4 all, 15 all, situation of absolute balance between us two. And I'm moving well here to get foreign at this point. Trying to move him around, and he eventually shanks the foreign. Serve and volley the next point puts him back even. 30 all. Now, break point. This is the kind of game where I really needed to hold serve now, no other way to say it really, but I don't start off too well. I love 30 here though, and now I need to make the best of this point. 50-30 and obviously massively important point here. We're both playing deep foreigns here waiting for a solid chance to come forward. And now we're playing a little bit lower and faster but fairly central. I play this back and slice as he hits it just a little bit too low. 30 all and after the serve I really should have gone for the 1-2 punch but it chickened out a little bit as the ball was low. I switched to his back and corner even being well aware that he screwed me with the down the line a couple times but I was gonna be careful. I eventually reset with a slice middle here and that was me the point. Set point then and after a short return, I missed the forehand. Another shot here at deuce and that does it, 6-4. The focus going into the second set was definitely to bring up the consistency a little bit and not be constantly facing break points on my serve. You know, just to keep the match under control more. I play this drop shot on the reach here, quite lucky I'll say and then I'm also able to get to the next ball and win the point. A solid serve wide here at 30 all. And another kick there I can't even get to, 1-0. I think he was probably gonna try and be more aggressive now and make me lead less. This rally he is already hitting pretty hard and moving me. But after this backhand he's the one that eventually misses first. Important point here 30 all and I was trying to push him back with his form but that doesn't really do it and he hits the winner. I make it up though the next point with a good serve and now it's deuce. 
I go wide again, and luckily he mishits it. The next game he double faults at low 30, and that's a great chance. I take it early inside in, and that's a break. You know, you gotta be smart in tennis and understand that you can't always lead the point and shouldn't try to counterattack every time because it becomes too risky. Sometimes you just have to accept you're behind and do the best you can to defend. I missed there though, and now it's 30 0. And I'm trying to slow things down as he's been playing great with pace. But I still miss. So yeah, another break and my mission of being more consistent is failing so far. At 15 although I play one of my favorite returns off the second serve. That is heavy at pushing him outside. You can see another angle of it here, this shot is also great on clay. But yeah, in general I wasn't playing my best tennis today. Definitely also wasn't fully used to the courts after playing like 6 or 7 matches on our home courts in a row. A little bit too passive here as he moves me with the back in line and that gave him a lot of points as well. A huge serve at 30 all, but one thing I master is a slice return, at least making it into the court. I'm immediately on the run and it's gonna be hard to flip this point, but luck does it for me this time and that was very lucky. Deuce point once again and a miss. Maybe this was good for me in a way because it meant I needed to hold serve now and be solid. And of course, now I'm able to hold without trouble. 3-all, pretty even situation. I played a slow cross pass, which is just on the line. This return is not very good here, and it was still very hard to play consistently good passes on my back end, so obviously he gets an easy volley there. I win the next point though, so 15-30. Trying to play the big targets here, mostly keeping an edge. He misses it down the line in the end. Break point. Very satisfying to snatch the break with my shot, the inside in, and now we needed to consolidate it. A great point there gets me up in the game. This is one of the best points of the match, just watch. I'm obviously pumped after this at 4.15 and I'm not scared to hit big, so on this forehand I go big and take home that game. I want game away and I want to try and break it knowing my serve hasn't been great this match. I get lucky here this forehand rises up and that gives me an easy approach. 15.30 and a classic kick wide and good to get in the rally to start with. And I guess he wasn't expecting me to go line again there with the back end and that makes him miss. First match point. Yeah, I didn't get any topspin on that back end, so I missed it, but I get another chance here. The foreign pass, that does it. That is 6-4, 6-3. Not my best and most consistent tennis, but today it was all about taking the win and helping the team out. At this point, it was a 3-all situation on our courts, and we needed the last win. Unfortunately, I don't have footage of that, but we did end up winning the last match in the third set taking home the match and our share of the regular season conference title. Here's us with the champion shirts taking some pictures and this is a really nice moment we shared together where we lifted a trophy up and celebrated together. Eddie was the one to lift it as he clinched the last match but you know it was a great team effort overall and a great day.